somehow the process of life that we are living or that we have created around us the process of life the social structures the pressures the competition our world unfortunately is built on competition it's not built on cooperation huh? in nature it doesn't happen that way the law of nature is cooperation not competition yeah i think we got it wrong from charles charles darwin's time that's where we i think we got it wrong from there because somehow this statement got into our head the survival of the fittest i think that's a blunder yeah it is never the survival of the fittest it's always the survival of the kindest yeah it's always the survival of the kindest i i think somehow so let's not go into the detail why that happened huh? because then we need another session <laughs> okay coming back to this specific so because of the kind of life we've created around us it's like we have thought or or we grow up with this notion that anger and jealousy is normal and we think love and compassion is not normal which one has to cultivate ha huh? but anger and jealousy is our true nature so my question back to you what do you think is our true nature is our true nature jealousy or is our true nature love ha huh? we could talk about it for hours ha huh? but because of the limitation of time there are thousands of examples we can share where we can prove even scientific research is we can prove that love and compassion is is our true nature there was a research done in university of uh, university of california uh, i forgot the name of the department and also the similar research was done in a uh, large university in germany i'm not getting the name of the university where they actually proved that compassion and love is our true nature it's a very very interesting research actually scientifically they proved that anyways now what happens because we've we've thought that probably jealousy is our is is our human trait so to say and we have invested so much into this thought we've invested so much of our life's energy into this belief that it's kind of become a you know a cloth which i've worn for years together which i'm mistaking for my own skin but which is not my skin because the cloth has been worn for years together it's kind of stuck on the skin now right so i have to peel it now and there'll be little pain <laughs> yeah surely there'll be little pain but this is a pain of freedom i would say yeah we getting rid of this hmm? so a i'm saying do not feed into this belief that jealousy is natural or normal do not feed into this belief feed into the belief or realization that actually love and compassion and expansion is our true nature and that is normal the moment my dear friend you start to shift the focus of your attention it will start to grow the beauty of life i'm giving you a very beautiful secret today because i got this secret many years ago that wherever you start to pour your attention and energy that thing starts to grow it could happen in the in a, in a, in a really the space of matter you can do that experiment if you start to pour your attention energy into a certain plant in your house you will see the growth of that plant will be better than the growth of other plants yeah and same happens with your own attributes you start to pour your energy into this dimension the other will slowly start to fade out hmm? so it's like again opening the box it will start to fade out slowly and the box will start to open remember second sutra whatever you practice over and over again you become good at that right so please practice this pouring your attention and energy into this your true nature rather than your borrowed belief jealousy is not our true nature <laughs>